Hey, what's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we are going to talk about getting your fish, in my case shrimp, from other local hobbyists. So if you are looking for deals or if your particular pet stores that you go to don't have the fish that you're looking for, what I did was I looked on Craigslist uh, for some cherry shrimp and found a uh, ad, actually there was quite a few of them in here in Dallas, but a couple of ads where they were selling the cherry shrimp for a buck a piece. That's right, a buck a piece. Normally around town I, I get them for like five bucks a piece. Um, and if you get them from local you know, hobbyists, uh, I, I didn't have to pay any you know, tax or anything like that. So I got me a batch of shrimp the other day. I got me 30 shrimp for 30 bucks. And for 30 bucks at the store, I would be getting what, six shrimp? And then I got, instead of six, I got 30. And they're really good looking shrimp, let me show you. So check these out. Nice red cherry shrimp. Look at that, nice color. Nice and big as well. Pretty neat, huh? So what I did was I got 30 of them and then I called the guy up again to get 30 more. Check those out. They've been in the bag for a while. They're a little stressed out so they're not that uh, colored up, but they still, they got some good color in them. 30 shrimp in this 10 gallon tank or eight or eight and a half, whatever it is. I think it's 10 gallon. It looks like there, there's some around, but I can definitely fit a lot, a lot more in there as well. I might put some in this other tank here. There's a couple of shrimp I've had in the past here that are hanging around might need some friends uh, let's see there's one back there all the way in the back if you can see and there's a couple more here hiding somewhere so that's kind of sparse in this tank but I'm gonna put a few in this tank here get some friends for the the few cherry shrimp remaining I got a blue cherry shrimp in here too uh, he's pretty cool if I can find him probably not he's hiding okay check those out that's pretty cool right there so the point of this video is that if you're looking for any particular fish that your fish stores don't have definitely look online and and def and be careful of course when you're meeting people out at different places make sure that uh, you know you're safe and everything uh, meet at a public location or at their place or whatever but just uh, be safe doing going about it you know you don't know where you're going you don't know who you're meeting um, but uh, all that aside, it's a great way to meet local hobbyists to get the type of fish that you're looking for or shrimp. And I know there's a lot of uh, beta dealers out there too. Betas might be a little high these days, I don't know. But uh, there's some good looking shrimp back there. You can see those guys. Nice red, deep red. A uh, nice saddled shrimp. I don't know if you can see him. He's cool looking. Uh, this dude up front, look at that, nice color to him, nice color right there, definitely nice color back there, and these guys are going to color up nicely like that, so definitely well worth actually, you know, uh, looking around, local hobbyists, you know, the, this guy here, his story was he started off with a batch of shrimp and they, you know, they just overpopulated his tank. So he's selling what he can't uh, use. So that's definitely, you know, that's part of the hobby is uh, trading, selling, getting new fish. I mean, this could, this could uh, apply to any type of fish, right? I mean, you can have uh, people selling neons, guppies. Guppies are a big thing these days with the fancy tails and all that. But uh, in my case here is some shrimp. And tomorrow I will show you the plants that I got. I found a, a guy. He's kind of local. He, he's uh, out. I'm in, I'm in uh, Louisville. He's out in Flower Mound, so not too far. He's got a variety bag of plants for 20 bucks, and I'll show you what I get from that. So hit or miss, you know. I mean, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get a good deal or whatever, but you can always look at what you're getting before you buy, maybe, uh, depending on who you're dealing with. Uh, you see pictures online or whatever but these shrimp i think uh and i've had these for a few days so they're not all dying or anything like that they're healthy doing real good 
this was a good deal I would definitely say so if you're gonna get 60 shrimp for five bucks each that's 300 bucks worth of shrimp for 60 bucks now tell me that's not a deal that's definitely a deal obviously they're probably not like breeder quality shrimp but so what I mean they're nice and red they look real good and uh, I'm gonna go ahead these guys have been here they're stressed out they're gonna be here they were in here for a while so I'm gonna go ahead and let them out let's take a look so I let them out of the bag they're swimming around nice and uh, nice and free it looks like there's a lot more shrimp in the tank uh, and I put a lot of them in here or some of them in here there's about one two three four five six seven about seven shrimp I put in there and uh, the rest of them I put in here so the shrimp tank looks good I should have a nice colony here going we'll see how they do and I'll see how these guys do now the shrimp in here have been not populating very well probably because of this scarlet baddits he is a hunter so he's probably eating the babies maybe but we'll take a look and see how these guys do but uh, you know these these other shrimp are doing good that were in here they just haven't been multiplying so we'll we'll check those out so I didn't put too many I put like seven or eight of them in there and I put the rest in there so as these guys multiply it will fill out the tank so just wanted to uh, let you guys know the cool thing about the hobby that we're in is that we can get fish, uh, trade fish, sell fish, do what we love to do, uh, get, get different types of shrimps and, and other, other livestock from other hobbyists that are not necessarily in it for profit but just in it for the, for the hobby. I'm going to go ahead and since I did add some water to each of these tanks I'm going to go ahead and medicate with my medicine trio. So the medicines that I use I'll put the links to the medicines in the description below. That consists of the general cure which uh, gets rid of the parasites, the Marison 2 which is the fungus and of course the red ickx ickx which gets rid of the, the parasites as well as ick be careful with this if you don't want your tubes blue this does change the color of your tubes but i don't care about blue airline tubing and silicone uh it it will it can stain your silicone or whatever but that's the medicine trio that i use definitely recommend it whenever you get new fish and or if your fish are looking sick so so the medicines that I use I'll put the links to the medicines in the description below so that you can check it out and see if it's applicable to your situation so you can read up and see if it's something that you want to I do use it as a preventative as well as a medicine for when they actually are sick but uh, I know there's some debate going on about whether you should use medicine as pre pre preventative, but uh, you know, it works for me and my fish are healthy, so I do it all the time. Definitely worth checking out. You got another tip on how to get some uh, fish from local hobbyists uh, in your area that you might not be able to get in your local fish stores or get cheaper in your local fish stores. So give me a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And peace out. Happy fish keeping.